Good evening, folks, on this 7th of May. This evening we're following on in a kind of theme from what we had this morning when we were looking at uh, the events of Jesus' life. We're looking this time at the Gospel of John, chapter 5 and verse 8. Jesus saith unto him, Rise, take up thy bed, and walk. Let's see Spurgeon's application. Like many others, the impotent man had been waiting for a wonder to be wrought and a sign to be given. Wearily did he watch the pool, but no angel came, or came not for him, yet thinking it to be his only chance, he waited still, and knew not that there was one near him whose word could heal him in a moment. Many are in the same plight. They are waiting for some singular emotion, remarkable expression, or celestial vision. They wait in vain, and watch for naught. Even supposing that, in a few cases, remarkable signs are seen, yet these are rare, and no man has the right to look for them in his own case, no man especially who feels his impotency to avail himself of the moving of the water, even as it came. It's a very sad reflection that tens of thousands are now waiting in the use of means, and ordinances, and vows, and resolutions, and have so waited time out of mind, in vain, utterly in vain. Meanwhile, these poor souls forget the present Saviour, who bids them look unto him and be saved. He could heal them at once, but they prefer to wait for an angel and a wonder. To trust him is the sure way to every blessing, and he is worthy of the most implicit confidence. But unbelief makes them prefer the cold porches of Bethesda to the warm bosom of his love. All that the love may turn his eye upon the multitudes who are in this case tonight. May he forgive the slights which they put upon his divine power, and call them by that sweet constraining voice to rise from the bed of despair, and in the energy of faith take up their bed and walk. O Lord, hear our prayer for all such at this calm hour of sunset, and ere the day breaketh, may they look and live. Curtius reader, is there anything in this portion for you? Something for us to think upon, ourselves and others. Until the next time, God bless. Please do take care. Bye for now.